Hi you guys, I'm Chloe and today I'm going to be reviewing the Steel Series Artist One headset. Um, I am going to be reviewing the Xbox One edition. Um, and the reason is, is even if you don't have an Xbox, don't plan on getting an Xbox ever, I recommend you get this edition because even though it says Xbox, it works on every console. I tested it out on PS4, Xbox, and PC, and it works with all those. It also works with the Switch. I didn't personally test that because I don't have a Switch yet. Um, and it also works on basically anything that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and or a USB-C or USB port. Um, it's super versatile. You can use it on your phone. If your phone has those, you can use it on basically anything that has those connections. If you get the Xbox edition, you also get a free month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is a really good deal because that normally costs about $15 and it stacks on top of current sub subscriptions. And if you don't ever want to use Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you don't have a PC or an Xbox, then go give it to a friend or make a new one. Um, it's really great. So to get started, let's go over what you get in the box first. You get this headset, which I have right here. Then you get, if you're getting the Xbox position, you get the Game Pass Pass. You get you get a little bit of information about the headset. Um, you get oh, there's a lot of wires. Okay, there's a, there really is a lot of wires in here. Um, you get a very generously long USB mini USB charger to charge the headset. Um, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to use it jack cord, aux cord, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, you get one of these in case you want to use it wired. Um, this is honestly the only flimsy cord that came with the headset. Like, I feel like I'm going to break this just by looking at it. Um, but the good thing is it's not like proprietary, so it's easy to get something to replace it if it does break, because this just, I don't know, it's really thin. Then you get the dongle to use as the wireless piece. I don't know if you guys can see this well. It's about like two inches wide, half an inch thick. So that's the USB-C dongle and you also get a little adapt. Very, again, a very long cord. I'm not even stretching this out. It's, it's a really long cord for the adapt, for the dongle adapter. Um, so just a little note on this dongle. I think it's honestly, it's pretty good. The only thing is I had trouble. I can't plug it into my phone. Like unless you're a I don't want to say a psychopath, but unless you're crazy and you don't have a case on your phone, then you can't plug it directly in there. You have to take the case off. I also couldn't plug it into my PC, even though that does have a USB-C port. So I had to use the USB adapter, which is not a big deal. I don't know. I think it could have been shaped a little bit differently. Um, the only thing it actually plugged straight into was my laptop and then my phone when I took the case off. So you'll notice on the adapter, um, there's a little switch right here. It says Xbox or USB. So you can turn it on to Xbox mode or everything else mode. Um, really handy. And then there's also a detachable microphone, which we'll get into in a minute. Okay, so let's go talk about the headset. Um, if you get the Xbox version, there is some pretty kind of green stuff going on in here. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I ordered mine straight from SteelSeries. So the shipping was really fast, by the way. I was really impressed with that. Uh, even with standard shipping and the only thing though, it did smell kind of chemically when I first got it. Um, that faded away after two days. I guess it was just really fresh from the Steel Series factory. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so you guys can see how, how it is. There's one side has the power button and the other side has like everything else. So there's a volume little wheel thingy, mute, not mute, um, charging port, aux port and microphone port. So a lot on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on it and it's indicated left or right on the inside over there, which is really nice. I don't really think it honestly matters though. I mean, I, I guess it does, but, and it also curves a little bit to kind of make sure you get a good fit. So one thing I do like about this headset is it does, it looks nice. Like it, it's a basic look, but it's nice. Like I would not mind wearing this in public. Other gaming headsets, it looks like you're wearing a gaming headset, but this is nice because it, it's sleek and fits in. On the other hand though, it is really simple and if you want something kind of in more interesting with the design, maybe go with something else. Um, I do kind of like just, 
it is like a matte kind of plastic. So if you want to decorate it with stickers or customize it in any way, you can definitely do that. Um, it's It has like a decent weight to it. It's plastic with a steel kind of headband and the little leather at the top. Um, this fits really good on me. Um, it fit well on my dad. I just tried, tried it on a different head shape because I have a very small head. I also have small ears, so this fit really good for me. I'm really happy with that. Um, I've worn it for about probably at most like four hours, I think, three to four hours, and I, I never noticed any discomfort there. The ear cups are a little bit shallow. That could probably be solved with a little more padding in there. I, I don't know. I, I, but I feel like if that was an issue for me, that might be an issue for somebody else that does have um, bigger ears. But this is the headset itself is really comfortable. I think it's a really good, good kind of solid design. And so, okay, let's go on to the sound, the sound of the headset. Um, I thought it was really good. I tested it out with movies, my classes, watching Twitch streams, music, and obviously games. And I think it sounded really good for all those. Um, and it's also really good too for multimedia stuff because the power button doubles as you can go pause whatever you're watching, you can skip a song, go back a song. It's really kind of cool to have that those inputs kind of built in there. Um, it, you know, it wasn't anything groundbreaking, but I thought it was pretty good. I honestly thought the sound was comparable, at least for music, to my Marshall headset that I have. It's actually kind of pricey. It's a, it's a better headset. It's wired. But I thought this was comparable to that, and there wasn't any kind of delay or lag between the sound and any of what I was doing, which is really, really nice. So the microphone, I will show you guys a mic test in a minute. I thought it was pretty good. I think it could definitely be better. I'm comparing it personally to my um, external microphone that I've, I've been using, and it, it, you know, the microphone sounds fine. I, I think it'll be good for online gaming and other kinds of things, but I definitely think it could be a little bit better. So go ahead and listen and you guys decide for yourself. Okay, so this is what my SteelSeries microphone sounds like. There is a little bit when you're talking. You can actually hear it inside the headset, which is really nice. Um, I didn't notice that before because I was using an external mic for most of my streams, so <laughs> I sounded very muffled, but actually with the microphone, in this headset, I feel like I sound like pretty normal. I feel comfortable talking into it. Um, this is so. This is what the mic quality sounds like. So this is a wireless headset, and it was it's a really solid wireless headset because the range on this they say it's thirty feet, but I think it's actually a pretty decent bit more than that. To be honest, um, I walked all around my house. I have like a, you know, pretty sizable house and I didn't lose connection until I was at the complete other end of my house to where my headset was plugged in. So really good range. Um, I was not expecting that at all. Really nice if you want to go sneak out of your online classes and go make yourself a cup of coffee. I'm not saying you should do that. I personally would never do that. You guys know that. Um, but you know, you can with this headset. <laughs> Um, so, SteelSeries says on their box, so on, on the box it says pros have won more prize money using SteelSeries than any other brand. Um, so I don't really play a lot of competitive games, I'm not good at them to be honest. Uh, but basically what I think SteelSeries is trying to say here is that you will be better at video games if you use their products. And I kind of, I tested that out a little bit on my own. Um, I didn't, and in my, a sing, no, it was a single player game, but in a single player game that I played, I think I performed better because of Steel Series. And you guys go watch and decide for yourself <laughs> because those sound cues in single player games are really important. I'm telling you, it's because, you know what, I deserve some, you know what, I deserve some Steel Series prize money because that, that, is, that is the sole reason why I was able to get it. Thank you guys for helping me. So, Steel Series, if you're watching and you want to test your proposition that your products make you a better gamer, then I'm just suggesting that you take me, a very bad gamer, and give me, I don't know, maybe a keyboard and a mouse to see if that'll make me a 
better gamer than I am already. Um, I think I'd be a very good test subject for that hypothesis. <laughs> um, so anyways, you guys, sorry for that little interjection, but I'm gonna go back to the review. Um, but yeah, this is a really solid headset for a variety of purposes. I haven't noticed any issues so far. Um, it's only disconnected once at all when I've been listening to something. It was during one of my classes and I don't really know if it maybe was an issue with Zoom, my computer, or what, but I just randomly disconnected. Um, but other than that, I haven't had any issues and I've been using it for a while. I'd say the battery life is solid. You can even I, use it when it's charging. You can't use it as a USB headset, um, which I was kind of expecting just given all the other crazy features and compatibility. But that's fine, I really don't mind. The battery life is, I think, I think the battery life is honestly, you could easily squeeze well over the 20 advertised hours because I haven't, I haven't had this die on me yet and I've only charged it once since I bought it. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really great multimedia headset that you should definitely consider buying. And if you can, if it's available, I would definitely get the Xbox version. Even if you don't have an Xbox, it's totally worth it, especially with the $15 Game Pass Ultimate code. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you want more reviews like this in the future, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and consider subscribing and liking if you found this helpful. And if you have any other questions about SteelSeries products, or, or, or just, just about, I, this is actually their only product I own. So if you have any questions about this that I did not cover in the review, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Bye!